Hi, my name is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to the new and improved Ash. So, for Ash, the runes I like to run are basically the same around everyone else, uh, just depending on the bot lane. It's pretty much decided. Uh, usually I go 3 attack speed quints and uh, 980 reds with 9 armor yellows. But the only difference would be changing out your, your glyphs, your blues. Uh, I've seen a lot of different pages run. I think Bang from SKT was running Scaling Armor and MR for the most part uh, in a lot of his games. But I tried it out. It was okay. But I, I recommend running the 9 armor and I would say the 2.5% attack speed in glyphs. I think that's uh, 4 attack speed with 5 MR runes. And that just gives you a little bit more damage. Sometimes you don't need it. You don't need the extra MR because a lot of the team is not actually going to be hitting you that much. And if they're going to be hitting you, you're going to die anyways. So little little things like that. Sometimes I'll take more MR depending on the bot lane. Say they're like Corky, Nami, where they have tons of magic damage. And I want to reduce that. Uh, I'll take a little bit more MR. So 12 MR. But usually I'll just run my 16% uh, attack speed in total age. Masteries are pretty basic. Uh, there's not much change for AD carries and masteries. The usual only changes is between spell weaving and blade weaving. Uh, I take one point in spell weaving, and there's actually something interesting about uh, the new Ash and Frenzy, the deep talent that gives you 5% attack speed per crit. You basically can always have that activated as long as you're attacking the same target for a little bit. Every auto, every auto attack past the first one will give you a stack of Frenzy, which means that you basically just get a free dagger at all points in the game, which is really nice. Um, no one else can abuse Frenzy like that. But besides that, just one point in Spell Weaving and uh, one point in Warlord because he don't get Blade Weaving. So Skill Order on Ash uh, hasn't actually changed from the old Ash. You do the same Max Volley first ordeal because the Q doesn't actually scale that hard. You get... 5% attack speed per level, and then you only get 0.5 AD ratio on the Flurry, which, yeah, it's good, and you'll definitely max it second, but the cooldown on Volley still goes down and by an insane amount, really. I think it's 2 seconds per level, and then, obviously, it adds a little more damage. So, just, it'll be way more useful than maxing Q will ever do you. You don't want to have your Volley on a 12-second cooldown in fights. You want to have it on a 4-second a cooldown whenever possible. Um, but... I'd say for levels 1, you put a point in your W. It's really nice. And then level 2, point in Q. Level 3, I'd say put a point in your W, uh, depending on if you feel like you really need the vision or not. Sometimes, if you put a point in E at 3, you can throw out your Hawkshot and maybe try and find the jungler. If it's like 3 minutes, he'll likely be on a second buff. And that could give you some extra information to survive the lane, know if you need to back up. So for items, I would say it's the same is old ash you just go infinity edge first and then this is kind of where it takes off in random choices you can either go ghost blade which i've taken a liking to recently um i've heard a lot of things about trinity forest static shiv pd all, all the options runance hurricane uh they're all there and i think they honestly will probably all work it's just dependent on the game uh if you need more single target damage if you need aoe if you want CDR for to have more ultis and stuff, uh, I don't think I don't think Boar could be that good of an option, but maybe it would be if you're against super tanks after your IE. Uh, but for now, I would recommend going Ghostblade. It's the best option I could find, I think, and it's pretty cheap since you can go Avarice with your Infinity Edge. Even though it doesn't really synergize as well as other champions, considering uh, you don't really use crit that well even though it scales with your kit it's not as important as other champions because when they get infinity edge without another crit item they're actually pretty weak but with ash it wouldn't really matter so that might actually change a lot of things but for now i think ghost blade's a pretty good second and then third item would just be last whisper depending on if they have armor bt if they don't have armor uh i honestly don't like building black cleaver that much on nitty carries it's pretty awkward because it costs way more gold than uh, the Last Whisper. It's 700 gold more. And you're building a Kindle Gem on an 80k, which is 
pretty weird to think of because it's just health and CDR, not damage. Doesn't really do much for you until you finally get the Black Cleaver, which then starts actually giving you armor pen, which will be pretty late in the game, honestly. Like maybe last item you could switch it out uh, because Ash does work pretty well with the Black Cleaver uh, passive because it procs uh, four times off your Q, I think, if you can get all the Q stacks in. Um, besides that, pretty basic on the rest of your items. It's just defensive if you think you're going to need it. You can go Bancheville, you can go Guardian Angel, whatever you think you need. Uh, Mercurial Scimitar, just depending on the team comp, if they have some sort of CC on our move. So like Morgana, you can go QSS. So for solo Q, I think Ash is... She's, she's okay, honestly. It's kind of a mixture of feelings because she's pretty susceptible to getting ganked and just dying to all of it because she doesn't have an escape, obviously. But she's so good with her ulti, catching people out, which people will be uh, isolated from their team a lot of times in solo queue. So you can just chuck an arrow, and if you can manage to land it, then you'll be caught out of position and probably just die, which means you can just stay as a team and get lots of objectives. But past that, like I just said, it's you're still pretty susceptible to dying to tons of ganks, which I've experienced personally. Uh, Rek'Sai specifically is probably her worst matchup uh, for specifically against uh, ADs and supports. I'd say Thresh is probably pretty scary to play into because it just makes ganking by it that much easier. You can flash play and you're gone. Um, yeah, besides that, she has a pretty good matchup against all AD carries and supports. Uh, she Ash has always been a strong laner. She was never really weak. It was just being super susceptible to ganks and not doing that much has kind of held her back, damage-wise at least. She has lots of utility still. But I'd say she's pretty good in solo queue. Uh, Ash's landing phase is pretty strong. Um, the only thing that's weak about it is just being super vulnerable all the time. Uh, having no escape does that to you, but I guess Hawkshot kind of makes up for that a little bit, just being able to reveal any sort of location that you think they might be camping in, or if there's a fight in a brush, you can use it. But besides that, she can poke pretty hard early on, even though she doesn't have the instant crit anymore, which did do a lot of damage. She still got a decent amount of damage in general with her W, and her, her Q is really good for extended fights, just feeling it, being able to wail on them, doing tons of damage. So, Ash in teamfights is basically the same as old Ash. Nothing really changed much about that, but uh, I would say she has more uh, slowing potential because she's going to slow the entire team for a huge amount. I think it'll be 55% later on with your uh, Q active, which is pretty insane. And if you, if you do go Hurricane, that means the enemy team will not actually be able to move, which sets your team up pretty well for being able to go crazy on him. So I think team fighting is very strong on her. I'd recommend using her ult to initiate the fights. Uh, a kind of obvious thing to say, but usually you can try to catch someone out with the ult, and as long as you're grouped and maybe you're sitting on a pink ward of your own, you can make sure that they get caught off by surprise with it. Uh, if, you, if the fight already starts and you still have your ulti up, you can still use it. Uh, I would recommend chucking it at the the front line because it doesn't really do anything at that point. But unless they're out of your range, I, I'd say that's the only time you should use your ult if they're out of range and you can't catch up to them. Otherwise, you just want to use your Q and W as much as possible. Uh, obviously, hawkshot the bushes when you can, of course. And yeah, besides that, kite back with your team. She's very good at kiting back now. I'd say a nice tip for Ash would be when you're thinking about using your ultimate, you should try to run at them first, honestly. Uh, force them into a position where it's going to be, if they do manage to sidestep the arrow, you can hit them with your other abilities, or your team will be there to follow up so that your, your arrow isn't totally wasted and you're not just chucking it for free and losing the whole cooldown and not being able to do anything with it. Uh, your arrow is very important to to how Ash works. If you don't have it up, you're not really that good of a champion, honestly. It starts the fights, it does tons of damage, it slows their whole team. 
thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my other guides at lawclass.com.